Good morning. The hour is 9 a.m. The minute is 17. The date is 8 BCE. And you are having a wonderful breakfast, a wonderful breakfast of eggs and bacon and just sort of sizzling cheese that is on fire. That's right. You're at Opa, the Greek restaurant. Bradley, I'm speaking to you, not the audience. Um, this is a <laughs> so nice here. I'm, I'm. How are you enjoying your meal? <laughs> I love Opa, the Greek restaurant. <laughs> it's very nice. I love all the Greek waiters. They're so good in Greek. Um, <laughs> it opened in APC. APC, the original restaurant. <laughs> the original restaurant. They had drive through before anyone else. It was just bring your chariot around and we'll, hey, we'll hand you this flaming cheese. Any restaurant can be a drive through if you build up enough speed. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's nice. Um, you get you get your version of the flurry, which is the same. It's, it's just still, the same? It's still called the flurry. Um, and why do they have that at Opa? They invented it first. Uh-huh. And, and how did they do the ice cream? Um, they took a cow and made it real cold. <laughs> and they got some salt. <laughs> That's too powerful of an image to me. Um... <laughs> Is this like rock salt or like uh, more like a uh, like just a table? Any uh, whatever they could get from the Egyptians. NACL. Whatever they could get from the Egyptians. They probably had like a variety of salts. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Don't know if that sounds right. I'm trying to imagine the span of the Greek Empire, and I'm trying to imagine if 8 BCE was a time in which the Greek Empire existed. Like, hey Siri, <laughs> hey Siri. No, honestly though. Hey Siri, on. when did the Greeks? I don't, I'm not sure Siri can. When do the Greeks? Okay, it's giving me directions to Starbucks. Hey Siri, when, when was the fall of the Greek Empire? Okay, I found this on the web for when, when was the fall of the Greek Empire. Okay, so we got ancient Greece up here on Wikipedia. Okay, and Um, did they have fast food? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, the page's gotta load first. Okay, so... It was it was from the it it's a the ancient Greece civilization went from the Greek Dark Ages of the twelfth to ninth centuries BC to the end of antiquity, which was six hundred AD. So it would be realistic that a yeah, Greek restaurant yeah, called yeah. Opa did exist yeah. in eight BCE. But so besides the fact that there was a Greek restaurant called Opa, um, so here's the here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Roughly three centuries after the late Bronze Age collapse of Mycen- Mycenaean Greece, Mycenaean Mycenaean Greece. Thank you. Uh, Greek urban um, Greek urban fast food restaurants began to form in the eighth century BCE, ushering in a period of peace, archaic Greece, and the colonization of the Mediterranean McDonald's. And this was followed by a period of classical Greece, an era that began with some more fast casual dining. <laughs> Um, so yes, Applebee's, exa- yeah, TGI that, Fridays. Uh, you got, <laughs> the uh, first Red TGI Lobby. Fridays was actually opened up in ancient Greece in the year. They had endless apps, but the apps was the alpha. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. It was. Um, it was so. alpha. It was alpha. And then what's the P one? Not pi. I know pi was the P one. I think, but the, what was the one that looked like the P? Theta? That's not Theta. No, it's not. Definitely not I took theta. physics too long ago to remember this. Hey Siri, what was the one that looked like the P? Here's what I found on the web for what's the one that looked like the P. What is an IP address? Do What do Adams really look like? UW Green Bay. Ooh, I'm getting another phone call from Aliquin, Illinois. Ga- Algonquin? Yeah. Not uh, Aliquin. Whatever. I think you should answer. There's some important government people there. I'm mean, answering it. My phone is so trash. I can't click the button. To All right, that's fine. Let's Secret. actually do the podcast. All right, let's Sounds do the good. podcast that we do. All right, well, Bradley, you just put this. You put this phone that that has been answered next to the microphone. Oh, they, they hung up. Okay. Um. All right. So, do you want to get started with the idea? Sure. What's the first idea? Wait. No, I'm saying, have- do you want to hit us with an idea? Since I did the intro. Well, we didn't do do the intro. Oh, you're, that's a very good point. Uh, OPA is a good idea. Good idea is a brain trust that your brain can trust. It's a comedy podcast where we find creative, actionable solutions to your real-life problems. I'm Aiden Kinsella. I'm Bradley Berklich. And this is Good Idea. 
All right. Uh, there we go. Thank you for reminding me to do that one. No problem. <laughs> the, the first was a good idea. Hmm. Well, I don't have many of those, so I'm going to look to our list for... For one? No. For three. What for... if we did three at a time and just sort of talked in sort of a satanic, like, double voice, maybe triple voice? You got, like, a hmm. tritone well, going? I know we had some good ones, but I don't know where we put them, and I don't remember what they were. This is from Kyle. Really bringing celebrities close to their audience. Uh, I, I'm imagining... Do you remember... Um, what's the opposite of a restraining order? I think <laughs> I think it's a constraining order. <laughs> Can we get a constraining order? <laughs> we just keep... We sort of keep a celebrity. Like, let's let's say, for instance... And this is my favorite celeb. Let's say Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, let's reasonable Shia to have LaBeouf. Um, um, we, we keep him and we sort of tape him to a wall. And whoever uh-huh. wants to go visit Shia LaBeouf can go visit Shia LaBeouf. They, they're not compelled to stay there, but like... I really like this exhibit in the Museum of Science and Industry. Yeah, where, where like, they had the open box? The Yeah, the open, the open casket, I, the no, open casket okay. Shia LaBeouf no, uh, the, the live death. The museum had, a, um, it had uh, a thing... This was the other way I was going to go with this, which was they had a giant plastic glass box that somebody would live in for like a month. Completely mm-hmm. open and oh, I actually know exactly what you're talking about. Can we <gasps> we put Shia LaBeouf in that? <laughs> and and can we get other celebrities in there I or think just so. Shia LaBeouf? Like, like no, let's okay. say who's the most famous person on earth? Adam Sandler. Done. All right, we put Adam Sandler and Shia LaBeouf. Are they in the, at the same time? <laughs> yeah, in the big glass box. Here's my Museum pitch. Of Science Here's my history. pitch. Because and, and there's a couple layers to this. First, mm-hmm. first part of the pitch. You know the TV show Big Brother. Where they do like the, it's just constant 24 hour live stream to the yes. internet of what's happening in the house. Yeah. So it's that, right? Okay. So there's this glass box. That's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. It's a Big Brother in the thing, but there are also cameras. It yes. is broadcast live. Second of all, it is a reality TV show. And you know how I love reality TV shows. And by love, I mean I have really never watched an entire episode of a reality TV but show. But you're fascinated with the But concept. I'm fascinated by reality TV. So. I do think that they sort of vote each other off the uh, they off the glass to, box. They attempt to get voted off. They attempt to get, because they well, that's the thing. They want to layer, Bradley. Because what you don't, <laughs> what I haven't said yet is my my last idea regarding this. Mm-hmm. We do specifically put celebrities in there that we know hate each other. Good. So you get like Bob and Neil deGrasse Tyson in there, and they're like the and Bob is like the Earth's fucking flat, and Neil deGrasse Tyson's like, "Where's my nephew? I gotta drop a diss track," like. Because his nephew's a rapper. Nice. And, no, that's just true. That's a thing yeah. that happened. We, did um, we, was that his concept album that we listened to? No, that day? was Logic. Uh, okay. Lo- everybody listened to uh, Logic. That's... Wait, no, the album's called Everybody, I think. And then the thing is called Logic. I don't know. Just look up Logic on Apple Music or Spotify or what have you. It's a great concept album. It's really good. Um, I love rap. <laughs> No, that's not the thing, though. Because I know Neil deGrasse Tyson is on that album, but I'm talking about B.O.B. like last year, 2016. B.O.B.'s like, the earth is flat. Yes. Look at this picture. There's no curve. And then Neil deGrasse Tyson's like, you fucking idiot. And then he calls up his nephew and he's like, yo, nephew, can we do a diss track? Yeah. And so we put B.O.B. and Neil deGrasse Tyson in there and they have to live there together. I think... This I think this has some good potential. I don't know how large the box is. I think we could get a lot of comedy out of just putting like twenty five celebrities. It's a pretty <laughs> small box. <laughs> yeah, it's but a pretty damn well, small box. Well, that's layer box. number four. Is I think every week we add <laughs> oh, for a couple. Okay, so we start with just two, right? And you just add people. So like, what if there were multiple rooms, but you just started taking the dividers out? I think I think that sounds pretty good. So it's like. S- so you get week week one and two, I think it's just like you put two celebrities who hate each other in these rooms that are way too way too close for comfort for two people who like each other, let alone two people who despise mm-hmm. each other. And there's just all these slots that you stick in through the roof and you take them out um, as the weeks go. And then about eight weeks in, you've removed all the barriers, and they're just all sort of living in this yeah, one they're, room. They're milling about. Uh, so um, <laughs> we, 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 we haven't, we, we haven't really created um, a reality TV show as such. What we have created is The Sims. Th- this is what happens in The Sims. Is I this is what I do whenever I do a playthrough? Is I just put everyone in a very small room and leave them sort of trapped in there, and I always have Adam Sandler. Okay. So he's always there. But my other favorites have been um, Darth Vader has um, 
they've Darth Vader and Adam Sandler have gotten married, but they've lived in this very small box their entire life. There's one toilet and a stove, and Adam Sandler burned to death through part of my playthrough, so I had to uh, make another one. Okay. <laughs> I love the sequel to Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do. I want to do. Where that came from? Can we call this? Can we? Can we call this reality TV show video game spinoff? Because it's just. I think it's called. I think it's called The Sims: Colon Grown Ups Three. The Sims: Grown Ups. I love it. I love it. It sounds good. Because Adam Sandler is in there the whole time. Adam Adam Sandler in The Sims: Grown Ups Three. Well, yeah, because it's grown up. So you can't leave. You do have, like, Owen Wilson in how there, about, Kevin about, James. Can we do, like, Adam Sandler as the host? But, like, he he's still in the show. But, like, so, like, while he's, like, filming the intro... So like, he can't get voted off. No, but, like, like, yeah, while he's filming the intro, like, somebody will come up behind him and, like, fuck with him and, like, take the camera. And be like, guys, come on, it's me, Adam Sandler. You can't do that to me. And Angelina yeah. Jolie's just like, shut up! Sam, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And then he starts writing a new song about, a, which is just a list of all the people in the room with him that are Jewish. I think that sounds good. Um, and here's my final um, thought. I do think Adam Sandler does have a nice advantage as the host because he and all his buddies are in there. Because, like, you do have all of Adam Sandler's friends, which is literally just, it's just Owen Wilson. Like, it's Owen Wilson and Kevin James. I don't know James who Owen the, Wilson is. He's, the, like, the blonde guy that was in, like, Grown Ups and... The, the National okay, Treasure you, you one. You say blonde guy, but I'm just picturing Billy Ray Cyrus. Is Billy Ray Cyrus blonde? I don't know. I'm not really sure who he Good is. Good idea. Have Billy Ray Cyrus bleach his hair. I think that sounds I think that sounds excellent. I hey guys, that's that's gonna be my favorite idea of the episode. Just I'm just I'm um, just saying. Billy Ray Cyrus bleaching his hair? Absolutely, because it's a good idea. Hold, but hold on, don't tell the don't tell the audience though. Okay. I won't. It'll be a secret just between And I did say guys, but that's like they don't know about the guest that's on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a wooden electric guitar in the room with us. <laughs> handcrafted, handmade. Handcrafted artisanal wooden Art- electric guitar. Artisanal electric guitar. Can I do one? Sure. All right, we just did like a sort of television thing, so I can't do that one. I do do a television one. thing, because it was only loosely television. Well, it this could, one's a movie. It could also be an art piece, like we just have celebrities in the glass box, the MSI. Yeah, that's better. Um, okay. It's, st- it's still called The Sims, colon, Grown Ups 3, and Adam Sandler is still There's also there one friends. wax model, but nobody can figure out which one it is. Because they're all so <laughs> sweaty and shiny. Because they're all in the That's room together. That's my favorite part about... Do they get fed? Um, I th- yeah, yeah. I think we they have keep to them alive the for the art exhibit. <laughs> I think they have to break out. It's like an escape room. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, like, no way out. Like, they randomly change things in the environment. That's good. Um, okay. Can we please pitch Mean Girls 4? Me? I don't know. You don't know anything about Mean Girls? No. All the better. Huh. I know Amy Poehler's in it. Am- yeah, actually. That was a weird cameo. Um, she's, Amy Poehler, she's wait, my mother. Actually, was she the main character in no, Mean Girls? No, she is my mother, though. So, like, the character in Amy Poehler in, yes, Mean Girl. Mean Girl. I think so. The star of Mean Girls Four is Mean Girl, as as she traditionally is. I love Mean Girl. <laughs> mean Girl. Um, <laughs> Meanest Girl. So I do. Th- so yeah, we have Amy Poehler in there, and then Amy Poehler is Mean Girl's mom. Amy, Amy po- No, Amy Poehler is Mean Girl Four. Okay. So <laughs> is she the fourth Mean Girl, or is she the Mean Girl who stars in Mean Girls Four? Yes. <laughs> okay. So she's the one that was in the background in the first three Mean Girls movies. But here she is. She's her time and she's ready to shine. She's here to be mean. Okay. So in Mean Girls 1, I'm pretty sure they go to Africa and then they eat carbs the whole time. And that sounds about right. I think that sounds and pretty mean good. And Amy two, Poehler just sort of lets them all drink alcohol. Yeah, that's... But she's also the mom. She's not the mom, though. Yeah, she's one of the girls. She's she was. One, she is the mom, but girls. she... Mean Girls 4, just one of the girls. Amy Poehler tries to insinuate herself into the friend group of the Mean Girls. Mean Girls 4, cracking open a Chardonnay with the moms. That sounds pretty darn good. That's just Desperate Housewives. Oh, fuck. Did you know Netflix spent like $25 million to get just Desperate Housewives on Netflix? They were desperate for it. They were. Um, here's, here's, okay, here's my thought though. Because Mean Girls 1, they go to Africa, eat carbs, and drink with Amy Poehler. Because Amy Poehler is just like such a good mom. Yeah. Uh, mean Girls 2, they all start in a musical, which was like a weird one. But it like wasn't... Oh, I love Pitch Perfect. 
No, it wasn't Pitch Perfect. That's a different one. That's okay. Mean Girls 3. Got it. Mean Girls 3 was Pitch Perfect. And then Pitch Perfect 2 was Mean Girls 3.5, sort of like a Lion King one of the half situation. Nice. Like, um, like Jackass 3.5. Yes. I love Jackass 3.5. They, Shout out to you, Leonard. They got like such a big <laughs> ass for that. One. They got such a large, uh, such a large one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and his name was Jack. Jacqueline. It was great. But Mean Girls Four. Mean Girls starring Four. Mean Girl. Well, because Pitch. Well, we got to discuss how Pitch Perfect sort of works into this because I think that the co- I think Becca from Pitch Perfect and I, Pitch Perfect is something I have a lot of just sort of knowledge on. Mm-hmm. I think Becca from Pitch Perfect actually canonically is in fact related to Mean Girl. I think, yeah. Because that's why she moves away and goes to college. Because she wasn't going to go to college. She's like, I'm just going to stay home and live in my mom's basement for that the rest sounds, of my life. That sounds good. Um, that's what I'm planning on doing. But then she, but then her cousin moved in and she's like, I fucking hate you. You're a mean girl. And then mm-hmm. she leaves. So that's the plot of Pitch Perfect 1. And I think then Pitch Perfect good. 2 is Mean Girl Goes to College with her. How do we get Tina Fey in this? Amy Poehler's there. Tina Fey will materialize. <laughs> She'll like, come. Not even... <laughs> if you bring Amy Poehler, Tina Fey will come. It's true. And the other way around as well. Uh, you know, Amy doesn't like Tina as much as Tina likes Amy. Like, yeah. you know that. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's not, like, there's not that codependency. You She's know. sort of leading her on. Oh, boy. I get that. So Mean Girls 4, you got Tina Fey is Amy Poehler's wife. Mm-hmm. Um, and Amy Poehler... Goes into the Mean Girl house because mm-hmm. it's a sorority now. Okay, they're in college. Got it. And Amy Poehler is a house mom who just wants to be one of the girls. And since they're both there, they got two house moms because they're married. And then they become just one of the girls by saying, "You guys are only eighteen, but you're mean enough, so we're going to let you have alcohol." And it's just the plot of Mean Girls one again, but it takes place at U of I instead of Africa. That sounds. Otherwise, the Shop Good. Shop remake. There are starving children in the background of every shot. Well, still. that's just, just U of I. Homage. That's just in U of I yes. campus. But that's also that's why they chose U of I, though, because mm-hmm. it's like an homage to the original, sort of like a throwback. Um, to the, the people without a budget. But yeah, people will watch this, because if, you, if I know anything, people do not like new content. They just want to see the same thing over and over again. That's what I do every day. I wake up, I say the exact same thing, and my friends still laugh at it. It's good. You're not Recycle even wrong. Recycle the old You're tool. not even wrong. I know. Um, let's move on to... Can we do a different one? I think, yeah. I do think, you I think we fully... Oh, I don't have the prompts list. I think we fully exhausted the Amy Poehler in Mean Girls. Amy Poehler in Mean Girls was just Mean Girls 1. That's not even new. No, but I think... There's no new content in this. We fully That's exhausted That's the key. It. Tina right. Fey is there. Amy Poehler's married now. That's it. Otherwise, it's a shot for shot remake at U of I. Sounds good. That's the whole thing. All right. Um, There was a good one for... From, and that, that last one was anonymous, I think. Wait, do we get more... Uh, yes, it was anonymous. You're right. Do we get do we get more diversity and just sort of representation in Mean Girls 4? That's my last question. I think not. Um, I think we make them all white. Can we make it whiter? I think we make it all white. Well, that white. was just Mean Girls 1. Can we make it... Well, no, because Mean Girls 1, they were in Africa. Of course. Um, I think we make it all white, except... we. S- no, okay. Here's my thought. I think we... Do do more representation. Okay. That's the end of my sentence. I, okay, I, I always want to end it and make it less On bad. On a positive. Um, so it's just... Some a, of it, these props are so fucking bad. Okay, then we can just take... I know. We they're can just take funny. Them off. <laughs> we can just take them off. What are some of the bad ones? I don't or wanna, the ones that are just I funny? Wanna, I don't want to call people out. Okay. Then don't. No. Then don't. I will not. Just know that if you're listening to this and you've sent in prompts, there's a chance you've sent in bad prompts. There is a chance you sent in bad prompts, especially if you sent in 50. Um, okay, I will do one. I don't know. Kyle, you have thick skin. So, Kyle on Twitter, you have thick skin. A cult around a rock? That's, that's just like Pilgrims. That's just Plymouth Rock. You're not wrong. This says the rock, but the, the TH rock. is capital, but the R is lowercase, which makes me think that. Is it Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Am I reading this wrong? Well, it was. I, okay, I'm assuming he I meant thought it Dwayne was the rock Plymouth, Johnson. Rock. Plymouth Rock. But here's what I want to address. Since the R is lowercase, it can't be Dwayne the Rock Johnson because it's not a name, but the is capitalized. So I think the rock is not the name of a person, but rather the name of an object. An object. What is this small? Or large object. The rock is Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Everyone goes and prays around George Washington's big head. 
Is it just one of the three? It's I just think, one yeah. I yeah think wait, no, yeah, you're right. It's took just off the one. George took Washington. Off the one the other day. Mm-hmm. I remember that, that. Which one did they take off? It was, I forgot. I think they took Theodore's mustache, but they took George Washington as well. Okay, so we have George Washington now, just sort of... We, he's captive in our claws. In our cult. Yeah. Our yeah. cult's around the rock. And we're going to choose to resurrect him when he can, when we can. Just resurrect like, him? Yeah. Well, they keep him... Is the cult around the rock, or is it around George Washington? Both. They keep him in the rock. That's where that's George Washington's final burial place, is... Inside Mount Rushmore. Oh my god, it makes so much sense now. Mm-hmm. That's why Abraham Lincoln, they encased him in stone and put him on a big old chair. And that's why we can't find his gravesite. But isn't his... Isn't his head on the Mount Rushmore or no? That's just where his head is. We buried his head. <laughs> just his head. Mount Rushmore and his body. That it's is, in the Lincoln that Memorial. That is wild. <laughs> that is wild. It's National it's... Treasure 4... Return, they return have, to Mount Rushmore. This can be National Treasure Three, where they have to unearth the president bodies and mm-hmm. bring them back to life. Nick so Cage. That, it ends in the extra credit scene of Nick Cage just eating George Washington's body. I think just taking a big old chop out of one of, out of one of those ribs. That's visceral. Like a rack. I don't like want... a rack of ribs. Nick no. Cage looks at the camera and he goes, "Hmm, founding okay. father tastes good." I think this idea is over. I think it's only just begun, but it can be over. I agree. Do you have do you have anything else for it? Because if anything else that you have for it is that. Mmm, like father tastes good. Alright. I wanna do one. I wanna do one. A lot of these are from Kyle. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Thank you, Kyle, for all your submissions. Thank you, Kyle. Okay, hold on. Ready? Mm-hmm. Selfies were The big photography craze. Using drones to record video has become popular too. What? Selfies were the big photography craze. Using drones to record video has become popular too. What will the next image... Capturing system trend be, I think. It's uh, capturing craze to be to sweep the world. Um... Thank you, Jason, on Facebook. Thank you, Jason, on Facebook. I was you've doing like so a bit and you've interrupted it. I was just going to do that for the rest of the episode. Really? I was I'm gonna... really glad I interrupted that. <laughs> I thought you were having trouble saying it. No, but I'm really glad that I just sort of got that feeling across. Because um, I wanted I wanted everyone to feel the struggle of trying to read Okay, well, out loud. Thank you. Um, that is a struggle that sweeps our nation daily. Please donate to the Dyslexia Foundation for kids who can't read good. That's just... I'm, okay... <laughs> The Derek Zoolander school for kids who can't read good and want to do other stuff good, too? <laughs> Did you just make a Zoolander reference, Bradley? I, not intentionally. Have you seen Zoolander? <laughs> I have seen Zoolander, yeah. I remember that. That seems so, not I like remember, a movie you would watch. Not voluntarily, no. It was like strapped down clockwork orange style and forced to stare at the screen. Um, Shia LaBeouf style and forced Shia to Shia LaBeouf the style and forced to lick Adam Sandler. Okay, well... All right, so selfies, whatever. Well, I mean, the, the, you selfies, see, whatever. The photo craze has always started with a new um, sort of technology being invented. So you've got the drone, which would not drone camera would not be possible. Well, actually, Bradley, you're forgetting the original photography craze, which is that started with the invention of the camera. The camera, yeah, obviously, and then they moved on to cellular phones, which you could reverse the camera in it. Did you know that that actually started as like a mirror? They wanted you to just be able to see yourself like a mirror. It wasn't even, you weren't even like supposed to take photos. I didn't know that, but that's what I used it for the first couple years I had a phone, mm -hmm. so. It's cool. So we need some new technology, I think, to take. All right, so here's my thought. A gun. Listen. Okay, I know this is going to be controversial. Guns are always controversial. I uh, Yes. But I don't think there are enough of them, and I don't think they're easy enough to access in our country. So mm-hmm. I think more children with guns, more kids with guns, is what I'm saying. I think that sounds good. But now for the photography part. Uh huh. That has nothing to do with the gun. I was shoot just saying, yourself in the leg. No, I was just saying, Bradley. I was just saying, I want more guns. Okay. No, I actually did have an idea. A gun. That's a new one. And you shoot things with it, and then the whatever the bullet goes through. Mm hmm. It just sort of, um, it plants some sort of tracker 
inside him. So the bullet's like a tracker, and it, the tracker just sort of scans the body or the object and takes an internal picture of it somehow. The legs are disappearing. The legs are melting away. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That, there we go. There's the idea. Wait, I'm so lost. This idea has no legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a different one. No, I um, think I think that one sounds a little vague. There is technology that we can. I don't know anything about technology okay. though. I how just about every time you open your computer? You know, okay. On you know how like on Saturday you've just gotten out of bed. It's like twelve in the morning. You feel shitty. Um, you put on like pajama pants and Why like are you a, this up at awful sweatshirt. Now, and you don't have any makeup on. Now hold on a second, Brad. Yeah. Late night. I had a late night. Twelve p.m. or a.m. A.m. or p.m. The one at noon. I don't know. That's that's p.m. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. You're getting up. That's then. not in the morning, my friend. You're you're that's, really that's, tired. That is twelve in the um, afternoon because you had a late night and you're like, fuck. I don't want to do anything. I have work. Later, um, so you go to the computer, your laptop computer, let's say it's a MacBook Air, and you open it up, and as soon as you open it up, and as soon as you get in view of the screen, without makeup on, with your hair bad, with the hood over, it snaps a picture of you and puts it on all your social media. I think... I like that, because... (laughs) I like that. Now, here's why I like that. It's the equalizer. Exactly. Everyone looks Everybody shitty. Everybody has to go through it. So yeah. It, so it takes out the embarrassment of it. Mm-hmm. I it's do like, like look that who's online. I like that too because, and here's why. And this is this is very important to me. Mm-hmm. If you open your computer to do something you shouldn't be doing, yeah, like it's gonna catch you and you're gonna be so embarrassed. yeah. It's like oh look at that good lotion pick somebody's got on. Oh, oh okay. No. Oh no. Um, I like that. So it'll it'll really just sort of add some good good Christian values to the I think so to the computer yeah. sphere. Mm-hmm. I have another idea for this. Yes. Actually, it's another controversial one. Well, we've already gone to guns. If we go to abortion, then we can hit both of them. <sighs> you spoiled my idea. I was gonna say like a camera, you just like sort of stick up there and you. Okay, no, they... kidding, kidding, <laughs> kidding, gotta, kidding. We gotta get off that kidding, one. <laughs> kidding, Brad. Yes, that wasn't my idea. My I idea. Know. Okay, but my idea was. Mm-hmm. You take pictures of people who don't know you're taking pictures of them. You see, that's called that's actual that's actually a craze now, and it's called stalking. <laughs> <laughs> it's called finding people's location on Snapchat and then going to their house. Taking pictures of them. Now hold on a second, Bradley, because what I've just what I've just gotten from what you've just said is an idea, a good idea. I if you're stupid to enough leave. to leave your Snapchat location on, talking to you, people I follow, you are. Can I can I click on your picture and force it to just take a picture of whatever the camera's pointing at? I think that sounds. Because that way you're like, it's terrifying, but like, they aren't, like, it's their fault, right? Like, they didn't turn on ghost mode. Yeah. So, like, I know, like, you're at your house, I know, I know you're watching Zoolander 2 with your dad right now. That's what I always do. (laughs) (laughs) You're, you're out, you're out at the bowling alley with your family, like, I know you're making out with Josh. Mm -hmm. I know you're making out with Josh in the middle of the lane, and I know they're yelling at you for it. Mm -hmm. And you're just not stopping. It's okay though. They can just chill. chill your phone is inside your pocket. I know your phone is inside your mm-hmm. pocket. We know for sure. I, like, I, like <laughs> I think this, this idea is over though. Yeah. Unless you have any other thoughts on it. Well, um, I've never had a thought, so I think we're good. We're I good. Think we're good and over. Do we want to do another Jason one, or because I want to save an, like, There are some very good there Jason ones, good ones, and I want to save them for an episode Jason. that doesn't already have one of the really good Jason Ten ones. Thumbs up. Can we? Oh, we're we're at thirty minutes, but I want to do a short one. A short one. I want to do a short one. I think. I think. I just sort of want to go through. Mm-hmm. It's been a tired episode today. It's I know been a we tired, had a tired episode. episode last time. Well, no, but this is a different kind of tired episode. This is morning tired. Morning tired, which is not like um, night tired because we're funny when we're night tired. I don't know. I feel like this one has some good. This, it was good. There were parts of it that it was, were good. There were parts of it that were good, and I think there were parts of it that were really bad. And I think here's my idea, though. 
Mm-hmm. Should we close with an enterprising quote? I don't know what that means. Neither do I. Then yes. Um, I want to just talk about types of webs really quick. <laughs> I want to make up a couple of new types of webs. Let's go off the one. Let's go over the ones that there are right now. Inner? There's the interwebs, uh, spider. spider, yeah, uh, lie, cob, cob deep, deep, um, thick, <laughs> thick web, thick web. <laughs> no, there's nothing there. That's my favorite porn site. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, what's the one? Oh. Like on your hands when you're born weird and you have hands. Webbed that are web. hands. Yeah, webbed, webbed hands. hands, webbed toes. Can we do... I knew a girl with webbed toes. Mm-hmm. She was, um... A frog. Yes. <laughs> it was good. So here's my thought. Can we do... Can we do a web? Oh, like the mind webbing thing that you do when you got to connect all your ideas. Can we do a web? Elon Musk wants a wizard hat? I'm lost. That's that is Neuralink. Elon Musk wants a wizard hat, a okay. w- wizard hat to connect all the thoughts in the world. That's what Elon Musk is trying to Wait, do. It's weird. It's cool, ain't it? He but but there was an article. What does um, that mean? It means you connect your brain to the cloud. It's called Neuralink, and you can connect people together, like what they did with computers when they were first thinking up of computers, like how college is connected across the board, except we do it with humans. Um, and this gets very close to, like, Blade Runner territory very fast, so I hope Elon Musk knows what he's doing. Because we can live on Mars, that's established territory. But if I can read so-and-so's mind with my wizard hat, that's scary. That's cool as hell. It is. I want, I want that, I want that, but how can we improve that? I think that's what we should discuss. How can you improve the idea of wizard hat? Well, I think firstly making a physical wizard hat, so you know when everyone's online. (laughs) No, it's not. Oh, (laughs) Well, yes, that is the number one. Because like, his his was just a chip in the head, but I think now when you do it, you just slot a wizard hat on yeah, your you helm. Just put it on. I think I think that can can we do a thing where you can only read the thoughts of other people who are put in the same house as you? Um, that seems worse. The people I don't want to read my thoughts. The people in this house. No, not your not your home, but like. Like, I put on my wizard hat, and it's like, congratulations, you have been sorted to Gryffindor, which I'm pretty sure is exactly what the hat from Harry Potter sounds like. You, you did a Severus Snape voice, but it's okay. Um, I don't know anything about Severus. You didn't do Harry Potter? You didn't do the Harry I Potter? I did when I was very little. He's... Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah. He's a good good book. Yeah, he is. He's a good one. A... I do think um, you can ghost mode. Can you ghost... No, you can't ghost mode. That's cheating. I'm trying to think of like an improvement. There is no idea. there is no improvement to this idea. You put on a wizard hat, you read people's thoughts with a wizard hat on. I think it's the best idea. Can they idea. read your hat? Thought? Can they read your hats? Yes, they can. Now, I'm going to have Wizazard on. I know how to improve this idea, Bradley. <laughs> Do you put what you're thinking in like a no. teleprompter across your hat? Is that how that works? I think so. But Okay, but listen Like to me, the New York Stock is, Exchange. This is really important to me, Bradley, because I, I really... There's a culture in the world that I think is often made fun of and underrepresented and just white sort people. of laughed at. And it's white people. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, that was setting up for a joke because it's obviously not. It was not a joke. It's very serious. This is not going to be serious. I can tell you now. What comes out of your mouth will not be a joke. Will not be a serious one. People... Tinfoil hat people. <laughs> <laughs> I love tinfoil hat people. I've only met three. One of them is my uncle. He's a good guy. But now there's finally a reason for tinfoil hat people to wear tinfoil hats. Yeah. To cover up their wizard helmet. No, you don't put it over your wizard helmet. No, you do. That would, that, no, that would stop it from working then. <laughs> then then they stop. It... No, then they stop people from reading your thoughts. I know, but then you can't read their thoughts. No, because it's a teleprompter across the top of your wizard helmet. What? <laughs> it's like oh, that. you just cover up the <laughs> you teleprompter. You cover up with a tinfoil, yeah. Well, that's awful. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. Okay, that's the best idea. That's the best idea of this, of this uh, segment. Okay, so, and then re- really quick, before we end, before we ask what everyone's best idea was, I want to say... I've heard one out of all the people Yeah, here. we want to tell you what your best idea was. Um the, the quote for today is something I learned from an English teacher, which is, you cannot discuss in polite company religion or abortion. 
because they are the two things that nobody will ever change their mind on. You will have to change your mind yourself if you do it at all. Anyway, that was this week's good, good idea. Let's move on to the bad, good ideas. What was your favorite, Aiden? My favorite idea... Blonde Billy Ray. (laughs) Blonde Billy Ray Cyrus. Blonde Billy Ray. Blonde Billy Ray. No, I'm kind of obsessed with making the world safe for tinfoil hatters, actually. That's... (laughs) That's my... You baby-proof it for tinfoil hat people. Yeah, you, you gotta put little the little Bring them back into the open. You gotta put little uh like little rubber bumpers around the tinfoil edges so they don't you don't cut yourself on them. I think that sounds good. <laughs> My favorite idea was the Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf Hey <laughs> I dude, I, I met Shia LaBeouf last week. Is that true? Or was that just a Shia, Shia LaBeouf? LaBeouf. <laughs> no, I like the Shia LaBeouf viewing box. <laughs> Grown Ups 3, starring only Shia LaBeouf tied to a wall in a glass chamber. Ah! Let me out! Don't let your dreams be dreams! I like to think of it as like the shark cage. You know how like there's a diver in the shark cage and like the sharks are all swimming around. And like the diver knows that they can So get... are the sharks the other comedians? No, in the, room? the sharks are the people looking at Shia LaBeouf. Yes. Yes. Alright, yes. that's my good idea. That's your can good you, idea. Can you take us out, Brad? Sure. Don't forget to do housekeeping. Oh, oh, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna dust real quick. Okay, we'll be back in like 20 minutes. Just keep the audio rolling. Just I promise we'll have an it. exit. Hold on, I'm gonna keep get it up rolling and help here. You out, actually, sounds good. All right, our Facebook group is Good Idea Podcast. Our Twitter is at Good Idea Cast. Our Gmail is Good Idea Podcast at Gmail dot com, and our Tumblr is Good Idea. Thanks for slamming the goddamn door. And our Tumblr is at Good Idea Cast. If you want to give us an idea, that'd be excellent because Sorry, we I'm need my teeth whitening strips. Fuck you. I'm insecure, <laughs> and I we would we need ideas. They are our lifeblood, and that's how we have the show. Um. So, <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck that was you. I'm insecure. <laughs> that was a good idea, Cast. Fuck you. I'm insecure. We're done here. <laughs>